on this episode of Picker Road. We're in fabulous Los Angeles. That's the Los Angeles skyline back there. And we're going picking in the city of angels. For dinner, we're gonna to go to one of the most iconic spots in Hollywood. And as always, we're gonna take you along for the adventure. You're in the city of angels with Picker Road. So join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband, Gary, and our son, Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. From the Mulholland Overlook, you get an incredible view of sprawling Los Angeles. This spot is right above the Hollywood Bowl. Sometimes when you're up here, you can hear the Los Angeles Philharmonic warming up for a concert. Today, we're heading to a thrift store on the edge of Hollywood and Beverly Hills. Let's see what we can find. Okay, here we go. Let's see, do we have, oh, we have shopping carts. Yay. Let's fill her up. Let's start right over here on this end cap. Ooh, look at these lights. They're not old, and judging by the plugs, you can see that. They've got a kind of a brass type of finish. Let's see what we have down here. We have naughty, let me guess, and nice. I guess I should start replenishing my Christmas. Well, they are Lennox. Lennox. Naughty and nice. Let's see, those are good there. And... They're older Lennox. Look at that. Yeah. $4 we... for the set. For the set. Oh. That's an easy yes. Just making sure there's no cracks. Wow. Let's start building up our, our Christmas supply again. We had a great Christmas in July sale, but we're going to need more for when Christmas time is actually here. What's this down here? Just some glasses. Look at this dish. An opalescent finish on that. Renaissance painting. And it is made in Japan. Definitely an older piece. They want $4.99 for it. So I think I'm going to leave that. And let's turn the corner here and see. Well, we are in Hollywood area. And of course, they're going to have a Marilyn mug. Hardly looks like her, really, but... Does it say Disney? Disney? You Dis know what? I'm betting it's from Disney Hollywood Studios. Oh, there you go. Let's just see what it says. Yeah, it says Disney. Huh. I'm going to take a quick minute and look that up and see what that sells for. Well, then. Okay. So, we all got a little bit fooled. It's not Marilyn Monroe. This is Madonna as Breathless Mahoney in Dick Tracy, which is actually a great film. I love that movie. Written, directed, and starring Warren Beatty. So, her character, obviously, she based it on Marilyn Monroe. So, we got fooled. I looked it up, and they sell for about 20 bucks. So, at $8, it's not quite there, but it's cool nonetheless. I noticed this vase up here. It's newer. It's a new piece, but this is really interesting because it's reverse etched. You can see right through these flower pieces and this kind of smoky glass, but it's not an old piece, but I thought it was worth a note because it is very, very pretty. Down here we have some Halloween little tea light holders for Halloween, little sugar skulls. What is that? That is an egg. Is that an Easter egg? <laughs> and we have in here, oh, a little cheers dish. A little cheers dish. An M. Oh, look at this. This is a this is an interesting display piece for jewelry. Yeah. Things like that. I do have a lot of that for Picker Road, but boy, that could be very useful for somebody. Look at that doll. Look at her face. Very uh, interesting. She's not got any body. She's just got a kind of a glass face. Very Harlequin. Let's keep going down here. Oh, here we go, Will. He's a hoot, but he's a candle and his ears broken. He's a candle in the wind. 
He's he, melting. He would not survive well in Las Vegas. It's 120 degrees right now. Even though we're in Los Angeles, and it's what, about 90? Yeah. <laughs> look at this. This is an old, look at that plug. That's mm. an older light. It's in a pagoda style. See, I think they have to be moved. They're moved a little bit. So interesting decorating accent piece. Look at these shoes. Now, that's a statement. That is very much a statement. Is Elton John around? <laughs> and we have, well, there you go, a casino fund. And what is this piece down here? It's like a piece of pottery. It was made by Red Sea. Interesting choice. And of course, we have some Thanksgiving and Halloween accent pieces. Oh, let's go over here. These shelves are full. William Squirrel. Squirrel. It's a, don't think that's even silver plate. It's just very tarnished. And it's a gold mug. And oh, look down here. We have a reindeer. One of his antlers is a little broken. Aw. Made out of wood. And it's. The all-seeing eye from the Great Gatsby. You are entering a dimension. Hmm. We've got some little Chinese cups and saucers. And, oh, look at that pumpkin. No, oh, it's just an inexpensive little piece. We have some little plastic succulents. What do you see back there? Just seeing. Do you see a marking behind that? Uh, you never know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Made in China. Crate and barrel. Crate and barrel. Made in China. We have a, a leaf dish. Let's see who makes that one. Made in Italy. And there's another tag there under it, looks like. Yeah, made by see gosh i hate to i don't want to mess with their i, I can't i don't want to mess with their barcode mm. but it's definitely made in italy be impossible to ship very difficult look at this what is that some sort of it looks like bamboo but it's a i handle holder i think yeah There's some wax hanging off of it yeah it is it looks these little succulent plants and let's see we have a little Jesus votive candle and a big, big mug and a purse. Boy, we just have everything here, huh? How much are they asking for this? It looks like they've done it more by color than by it item. It does, doesn't it? And they want $10 and it's a Forever 21. Forever 21 purse for $10. Looking at how clean it is inside. Looks like it's pretty clean to zip it up let's see if the zippers work what if you zipped one of these open well and you found like a hundred dollar bill i'd buy it oh very dirty that's not a hundred dollar bill darn 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 i was i was getting close to thinking about getting that because i really like that color but not when it's dirty what is this dish here? This is Antique Reflections by Godzinger. Kind of like a chintz almost. They went $14.99 for it. A little pomander broken on the bottom, unfortunately. And down here we have some mugs and little pottery pieces and one of these little flower flower bears. He's missing some flowers there. And let's go down here and see what we see. Always looking for interesting mugs that are handmade. What is this down here? This, I see houses. They are Shilero, $14.99. It is a cold pack hmm. for like picnics and things like that. Okay. 
and let's see what we have. What do you see? This piece here yeah. looks like a project piece. Yeah, that's, I think that's homemade, what don't you? Say on the bottom? Let's see. Somebody else has already peeled it back. Yeah. Um. I think it says original by Humphrey Bogart himself. <laughs> I, I, I long though it's not a project piece at all. Look at that glaze, boy. Ever since I found that Van Briggle, mm. that brittle, that Van Brittle, not it's that long USA. ago. USA. Hmm. Problem is, there's no um, QR code on it. Yeah, I didn't do that. No, you did not. I didn't do that. It was off when we got here. I'm trying to fix it as best I can. There we go. That helps a little bit. I think we're going to quickly do a Google search. I don't see any chips. So let's do a quick Google search. Well, turns out this is an older piece. It's made by a company called Gonder. They were in business from about 1942, 41, 42, till the mid-50s. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is marked on the bottom. It is a USA piece. And you could just see that sitting in a Hollywood apartment filled with some candies or considering the age, maybe cigarettes, <laughs> who knows. But we're going to go ahead and pick it up. I like the glaze. I like the form. It's very interesting. And gosh darn, it's 70 or 80 years old. So let's rescue it from here. Keep going. And down here we have some, let's see, these are poly, polyurethane cork mats. Table They're place mats. mats. Yes, table mats. Oh, that's pretty. A little hard to ship though. I wouldn't want them to get bent. And we have some candlesticks here. Let's see if we have any signature. They have nice weight to them, but I don't see any markings or any signature. So we're going to leave those. What do we have here? These are just little canvases. We have a little wine canvas, another little wine canvas, just little pieces of decorative art. And up here we have a Geometric rooster, rooster. A geometric rooster made in China. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I know these. These are coffee filters. These are, yeah, these are $9.99. I know they do sell, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. Let's see. We have, looks like. Maybe Thailand is a Buddha, definitely spiritual looking face. We have some, I don't think that's milk glass. It's a very light. And up here we have some mugs, a lot of pumpkins out tonight mm -hmm. and some little igloos. So Halloween have, in July. It is. We're getting there, huh? Just a little creamer. More modern. Very modern piece. And up here we have a little, just a little piece. It's not a studio piece. It's a very modern piece. Let's see. This is somebody's, aw, happy Father's Day, Grandpa. You know, when I see these kinds of pieces, my heart just breaks a little bit because I, I always wanted to stay in the family that it should be in, but maybe somebody will see it and, and rescue it. I value the work that went into this. I don't pass it lightly. And we have a little vase here with some glass flowers at the bottom and frosted. No markings on it. Oh, it's heavy. No it's, markings on it. It's older looking, but not especially attractive. No, not really. And let's see that this mug is 60, Project 62, little pine trees on there. And then we've got some, this is a newer one, I think. I don't think that's very old. It looks like mercury glass a little bit, but it's a repro. And we, we have Chopard. Okay, well, that's from, that's from Can. That's from Can. Wow. 
Wow. Whoa. What is that? Is that ceramic? Yes, it's supposed to. It, they probably gave this out with popcorn in can. Wow. How much it's is that? It's canned cinema, two ninety nine. That's a fine. Hello. Yes, please. Okay. So we're uh, talking about the film festival, of course, on the south of France on the Riviera. Oh my goodness! So obviously, Chopard was their sponsor, and let me see if there's no date on it. But these usually are given out to the audience members, and of course, being can, they wouldn't just give paper out. They're going to give out little porcelain uh, pieces for your popcorn because you are eating elegant French popcorn. This is a so get in the cart as fast as you can. And here's a sizable milk glass vase. Let's see what it says on it. It says USA and it says uh, E.O. Brody Company, Cleveland. Hmm. It's a nice milk glass vase. I'm gonna look that up. Well, we looked it up, and quite honestly, it doesn't sell for very much right now. But milk glass is kind of making a comeback. It's in lovely condition. It is marked on the bottom. There eh, could use a good cleaning on the inside. That's Gary's job. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But for only two ninety nine, we're gonna pick it up. Speaking of Gary, while we were inside, he was watching the car on the street and he saw the craziest thing. This is a robot food delivery unit that was taking dinner to someone around the corner. Isn't that amazing? Look at this lantern. Too bad it's rusted out because I kind of like the design. It's that very modernist design on there. Mm -hmm. We have a little elephant planter. He's not marked. I don't think he's too much interest. And what is this glass dish down here, Will? That looks like Mikasa. Not marked, but terribly chipped. Aww. The feet are extremely chipped up. We are looking for more of those Chopard little popcorn holders from Can. Just a little pressed glass piece. I went $9.99 on that. Look at this very modernist lamp. Now, lamps like this, they went for only $15 for it. But when you go to buy, feel the weight of that. Yeah, and tell me if there's anything on the bottom. Uh, it is, no, just made in China type thing, as many things are. But even so, you go to Lamps or Us, you go to any lamp store and you try to buy that. That's not going to be $15.99. It's going to be pricey. Mm -hmm. So that is a interesting lamp for someone who's decorating. Not so much for a reseller, but it is interesting. We passed over this piece. This is so nice for jewelry. You could hang jewelry from that. Hmm. Let's see, I have so many of these, $5.99. I just don't have a lot of storage room, but I did want to give that a mention because I do think that's a nice piece. The reseller comes in here. And look at this lamp. Again, a very modern, very interesting type of little lamp. The shade is totally ruined, but boy, 10 bucks. If you need a lamp, mm -hmm. that would not be bad. We have little white dishes here. Very, very simple. Nice for condiments. I gotta say, Halloween is a ways away, but that's pretty funny. Cheers, witches. <laughs> yeah, really. It's a little cheeky. It is a little cheeky. And here we have a another very modern lamp but nice form they went fifteen dollars for that what is this piece back here this art piece i want to ask copper? you it looks like it's metal it's backed by torn paper but what i saw is there was a mark there is please let there be an artist's name no, no. I'm guessing it's Home Goods. Yes, and I'm so shocked. Although Home Goods does get some nice items. Hmm, I'll let you put that back. I've seen hand signed items at Home Goods, so that is not without merit. All right, down here, we just have some trays, useful little trays, and a glass dish. Again, that looks like a Mikasa. Looking up here, we have a menorah very very nicely done except the bottom is extremely scratched so i think we're going to have to leave that and here we go with another jewelry piece hello 
And oh, look at these brand new lanterns. How much are they asking for these? This would be so nice on a summer evening outdoors. Uh, $10 a piece. Considering the quality, that's not that great, honestly, a price. Get it brand new. But we have a, looks like metal, but it's not. What is that? That is a main event. What does it say on the back? There's a quote on the other side. Oh, there. Thankful, grateful, blessed. Aww. That's nice. Very nice. And let's see what else we have here. We're going down here and following through with the geometric form. Look at that. Look at that lamp there. Mm -hmm. Again, a very geometric looking lamp. And right here we have, it wants to be kind of like a Tiffany-esque stained glass type piece Sorry. for $11.99. That's Look at that in there. It doesn't have a light bulb, so I don't see how we could test it. It's a vine glass uplight. Let's look at that a little further. Oh, $11.99. Let's see. I wish we could test it. It doesn't have a bulb, though. Ooh, that one has a bulb. Maybe they have a testing center here. Do they? I don't oh, know. Some bugs along here. Oh, we can then. <laughs> Thank you, William. Moment of truth. Somebody's life is about to change. Oh, no, that's Titanic. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> now, is there a light switch? I don't see one. I think it's just a plug in, plug on. Do you see anything on the cord? I do not. Sadly, I don't think it works. I'll try one more. Let's try this one. Ah. Let there be light. Let there be light. Well, then when you turn the light on, you see the, the imperfections, mm. but what do you think? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's for the boutique because you couldn't ship that. No, but for the boutique, it might be kind of pretty, but they already won eleven ninety nine. What do you think? It's not sparking the joy in me that it's sparking in you. Hmm. All right. I think I'll leave it for somebody else. Well, now that I've got it all tested, I'll leave it here and they can know. Well, moving on from that light, I found this little, looks like Etruscan vase. Those darn Etruscans. Really? It's pewter. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is pewter. They went $3.99, but I don't like the way the base is so scratched up. The truth of the matter is, though, as I look at that, is that a piece applied to the base? Ooh. Can you get that off? I don't know. Did you see what I'm saying? I do. But I do. it's still bent. Yeah. I don't know how old it is. They went $3.99 for it. Hmm. You know what? For $3.99, I feel that might be a good pickup. Ooh. I'm pretty sure this is pewter. All right, then. Now, I see this. Look at the bulacante. Oh. Where do you see the bulacante? Oh, you do. In the base, you see that. Oh, look at the Bulacante base. How is the bottom? How does that ponto look? I... No, it doesn't it's look too bad. It's Bulacante and then it gets a little less yeah. Bulacante there. Yeah, it, it's so... It is, but I don't think it was done by a master glass blower because it kind of has a little more Bula and a little less Conte. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, William. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's heavy. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. You're always checking to see if the rim is sterling. Right. That's we're what looking, looking we're looking, we're looking. I uh, don't see any indication that that would be sterling. Uh, I think we're going to leave that. And uh, let's move on. Okay, so there were a lot of vinyls down here, and I wanted to save the time of flipping through them and seeing the same ones over and over again. Yes, there was a copy of The First Family in there every single time. Something that I've found that's interesting here at thrift stores is that when you're flipping through vinyls, every now and then you pull one out and you're like, oh, that's the soundtrack to a great movie, but it feels a little bit too heavy. Now, that's because it's not. It's actually a laser disc. 
laser discs, the precursors to DVDs. So this is the same amount of data as a DVD, but it was on a giant disc because they were still figuring the technology out. These were around in the 90s and for a couple of years in the early 2000s. They're interesting because they're not quite in their collectible phase yet. There are some rare ones. There are some interesting ones. I collect them because I'm a film nerd. Everyone knows that. They're not quite there yet, but someday they will be. This one, they're asking $5 for it. Nightmare Before Christmas, I looked it up, sells for about $10. This one's a little more interesting. This is Toy Story, one of the most iconic animated films of all time and the film that changed the face of animation. The first fully animated computer, the first fully computer animated film ever made. So this is a laser Laserdisc letterboxed edition and they want $2.99 for it. I'm going to check the disc. I'm going to make sure that it's clean as long as there's no scratches on it. Very clean. $2.99. Woody and Buzz are coming home. So while you were looking at the records, I was checking out the glass and sitting there was this really beautiful, pristine Lennox holiday Christmas. Um, not a mug, like a sippy cup <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful the quality it's heavy it's just beautiful pristine never used that's going right in the cart Lennox has really become very very collectible again I don't know if it ever went out of style but I've had really good luck lately selling Lennox looking up here they have lots and lots of crystal I'm looking for anything that's marked what does it say uh, Luigi Bormioli, Italy. Is there any more of those? Okay, I gotta, I gotta call this out. Yes. I gotta, I gotta call this out. What? That's an empty Voss water bottle I know. for five ninety nine. What can I say? You can buy a bottle of Voss water at like Trader Joe's for three ninety nine. Hmm. There's only one of these. I'm sure this is very expensive. You know what? I just have to know. I have never seen that name before. I've dealt with a lot of Italian glass. Let's just take a second and look this up. Well, unfortunately, it's uh, not super expensive. It's worth about as much as a full bottle of water. Moving on. Looking down here. What did you see, Will? I'm trying to see if this is anthropology. It is. But the end, they went $2.99 for it. Do you think there are enough L's out there that we should go for it? I... I don't know. I've kind of shied away from those because I just, you know, it's got a very specific uh, group oeuvre. of oeuvre of people who would want that. So I'm, I'm going to stay away from that unless it's kind of a mug for uh, every man. And look at these. Look at this black glass goblet set. Let's hold it up to the light. Trying to see the glass through there. How much do they want? They want $2.99 a piece. They're all different. Each one is different. Each one of the goblets is different. So I decided to look these up. I knew they weren't old and they aren't. They're new. They're by a company called Doll's Home. They are a set of four in a box. They're called Darkest Night Goblets and they can be purchased brand new in the box for $38. So buying them here would be 12 and they do have some marks on them. So we're gonna leave those, but I learned something and that's what this is all about. You can always learn. Let's go on and this is perfect for LA, Cinema Junkies. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're always gonna find that in LA. Let's see what else. Any other mugs of interest? She believed she could, so she did. Medieval, Medieval times. times. Look, this is a golf mug. Huh. I guess maybe the golfer puts that on their golf cart. That's pretty funny. Well, no, and you can golf through it. Oh, that's what it is. Look at this. A gingerbread bank. Gingerbread house bank. It's very roughly, crudely done. I feel like I would eat up all my savings. <laughs> And we have what appears to be an inexpensive Denmark, not Denmark, Denmark Stein. But look at it, how uneven it is. Mm -hmm. No quality, no craftsmanship on that one. 
And of course we have Crazy Cat Lady and Cat Lover. Nice new mugs. And let's see what we have down here. Oh, well, look. Oh, uh, he's a hoot mug. How much is he? He's two ninety nine. I'm trying to see. Doesn't look like he's a, you know, especially expensive no, brand. No, he's not. He's not. But you'll find them. And it looks like maybe somebody did a bunch of cat mugs. So right. That one's very used. And this is Right Meow by Ray Dom. Need, Need coffee. coffee. Right Meow. <laughs> it looks like it's been used, though. Yeah. Don't like that. So let's go ahead and turn the corner and look at the dishes real quick. I'm going to go a little quicker through these since I usually don't pick up too many dishes just to see if there's anything spectacular. Like that color. And we have some Christmas bowls. Mm. Pier, Pier One. one. Pier One, do, they do make quality pieces. One of my favorite comedy lines. That's awful. I thought you got it at Pier One. I said I got it at a pier. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is funny. Mm. A pet treat launcher. Seriously? It's funny. We're going to have to look at that. What does that look like? It's a limited edition, whatever it is. Let's take it out and see. I don't know. Look at the dog's mouth open. Ooh. That's so funny. No. Oh. Oh, oh, look. It's got, it's, no. it's brand new. It's brand new. I like that part of it. It's brand new. It's only a cardboard in there. You put your treats in there and you press this and I assume it launches them out. they launch out of that. Yeah, they launch out of there. Yep. Yeah, because see, it's coming out of the top. That's pretty funny. Oh, that is very How funny. How much is it? Uh, it is $5. It's now, is it $5 funny is the question. I think it is. You do? I do. You think it's $5 funny. Okay. All right. Limited edition. So, I mean, there's no way that, you know, a pet won't like it because the treats are going to come shooting out. Let's see. A pet treat launcher. No batteries required. Hmm. So it's spring loaded. Yes, absolutely. It's hysterical. Okay. We're going for it. All right. We have some Faberware knife holders. And look at this a very Japanese looking lamp. Mm -hmm. Very nice linen type shade. That's a really great buy for $9 if that is your decor. And then we have a little espresso pot. Eleven ninety nine on that little metal basket. Just trying to see. It almost looks like it was made by an artist, but it's kind of wonky. So I think we're gonna move ahead on that. We have a little salt and pepper. Do we have any brand on that? No, nope, it doesn't look like it. They went two ninety nine for those. I'm not feeling those too much. Let's keep moving. And what do we have here? It almost looks like it might be Portugal. Nope, it is made in Italy. Ceramic Nova Deruta. And what do we have down here? We have a little serving set. Very lightweight, very inexpensive. The pressed glass. We have some black rolling pins. Not too exciting. And let's see what this end cap yields. Oh, look at the little hedgehog. He's very crudely done, though. So we're going to leave him. Uh oh. Now, there we go. That's a hoot. But that's a hoot. It's kind of expensive. Why? So heavy. Feel how heavy that is. I thought it was like attached to something. Why? Oh very heavy. And he's got a crack on the bottom. He's got a crack. Shoot. Darn. Darn. Look at these little glasses. Very delicate. Two ninety nine for those. Let's see what else we have down here. It's kind of just run of the mill kitchen stuff. 
That looks like Mikasa or that kind of brand. Okay, we're in the purses now. Let's take a look and see what we've got. This is, let's see, that is a Marona, it says. Uh, purses are so hard because if they're worn hard, then they're just not resellable. That is a uh, Imashian. 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 It's got some nice accents and details to it. How much do the they want? The, um, mm. the yeah, they do, but look at the worn. Look at the wornness of it all. Let's see this. This is a little backpack. Let's see who makes that. Nope, an unbranded. You just kind of have to find that gem that was just lightly used and then donated. And that's not it there. Skimming through here. What is this piece here? It's a big one. Let's see what this is. It's a Deluxe. Deluxe. Du. Deluxe. Du. Deluxe. Du. Not un lux, but du du lux. Lux. And they want oh, they want twenty dollars for that. Can you imagine what tray lux would cost? I can't imagine. Probably thirty dollars. I'll have to leave that. Unless it's a known brand, I can't pay that for it. And that's messed up. This red piece. Oh, it's lips. Mm -hmm. There's no. a name on the side there. Mm, it's very cheap. Okay. It's made in China. Oh, look at this piece. It looks like it might be new. That's interesting. Everything on it is new. $14.99. No, it's unbranded. It's a very inexpensive piece. I'll put that back down here. Let's see, we have a little kind of leopard print. It's not a tiger? H&M, not a tiger. And how much do they want? They want 10 bucks for that. Let's see what we have down here. That's a kind of like a fanny pack piece. And let's see, looking for anything that's a really nice piece of leather. Or now this is interesting. Look at this. It's a little kind of a, a wristlet with a leopard print. It is new. You can put your cards and your cell phone in there. And they want $5.99 for it. Try to see how this goes. Because it's like big for a wristlet and small for your shoulder bag. Adjustable maybe? No. You know what? It just isn't, it doesn't thrill me. I think that we do not have any luck in the purses on this visit. So let's take our treasures. We've got a pretty full cart and check out. It's a warm summer evening here in Los Angeles and there's nothing like cruising down Hollywood Boulevard. You pass by Hollywood and Highland Complex, home to the world famous Grauman's Chinese Theater with its cement handprints. This is also home to the Dolby Theater, the permanent home of the Academy Awards since 2002. Just a few blocks down is the landmark Musso and Frank Grill, a Hollywood staple since 1919. You probably recognize it from movies such as Ocean's Eleven and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Everyone from Charlie Chaplin to Leonardo DiCaprio has eaten here, and there's a reason why. They are known for their amazing cocktails, freshly baked bread, and their incredible entrees. Gary decided on the spaghetti and meatballs. Harleen chose the pork chops. We thought we would split some truffled mac and cheese and asparagus in hollandaise sauce. And me, well, I went for the baked potato and the prime rib. One bite and you know why this place is so iconic. Seriously, if you are ever in Hollywood, you have to try this. While we savor a feast fit for Cecil B. DeMille, let's recap today's finds.
Well, we had a fantastic time picking in Los Angeles. And we had dinner at Musa and Frank's, the oldest in Hollywood. Thank you to all of our dear subscribers. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free and you'll have a lot of fun joining the journey. <laughs>